Hey guys, it's Raw Inc, and welcome back to episode 3 or part 3 of our Animal Crossing Let's Play. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm talking at a low volume, but it's because it's, well, I wouldn't say pretty late, but it's nighttime. My family's starting to go to sleep, so I just want to be able to play without disturbing them. As you can see, it's 10:13 p.m., March 27th. So I did a couple things off camera. And by the way, our house is complete. So that's cool. We also got some mail. So let's go ahead and open that up first before we do anything else. Okay, so I ordered... I, I can't remember if I did this on camera or not. But, um... So let's go ahead and redeem all this. Um... This. So... Off camera, I went ahead and purchased some sweatpants. I think it was off camera, or maybe it was on camera. I can't exactly remember. But let's go ahead and open this. We got our sweatpants. So let's go ahead and put these on. And then let's also go ahead and open this present. I also got a message in the bottle uh, off camera as well. So let's see. We got a Nook Ink Aloha shirt. Or did I buy this? I can't remember. I think I bought this. Huh. Wooden low table. Let's learn this recipe. Cool. So also, what we gotta go check on. And I, it's also nighttime, like I said. So there's gonna be... I heard there's tarantulas in the game. So that's pretty scary. But we got Blathers' shop. So... Or well, Blathers moved in. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's talk to him. Who? a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I will have to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you are Rojo Inc., the personage? The per I think it's personage who chose the location for this tent. I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Okay. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what? <laughs> or woot woot. Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too, who, as it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils, the fossils I require. But the river, you say, I can't just hop over it, you say. Who, silly you, I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Roho Inc., while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Alright. What's going on? There, you see, with wood gathered from Symphony, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This paw can be used to propel oneself across the river, up and over you go. Hootie hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Roho Inc., cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have lathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit, 15 more to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. So, he said empty cases will not do. So, does that mean I could bring him 15, even if I've already showed them to Tom Nook? Or do they have to be completely different? I'm not sure. Um, one thing that I do want to do first... Also, let's bring out our fishing net. 
and uh, or our flimsy net, sorry. Uh, and before we go ahead and uh, do anything else, I want to go ahead and just check out the inside of my house because I haven't seen it yet. Okay, this is congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few tips for comfortable living. Turn lights on or off. Enter decorating mode. Open storage. Okay. Let's first... Um, let's move... No, come on. How do I, uh... Okay, I guess I have to be uh, looking in the direction first. So let's go ahead and uh, let's pick this up actually. Pick. Um, okay, so let's see this storage. Um, also, one cool thing that I got, I actually got a gold nugget and I researched this and it seems that it's very rare. I hit it, I got it by just hitting like one of the rocks outside and okay, cool. So we could put things in storage, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Let's put away this. Uh... Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to keep this. Let's put that in storage, put that in storage, put this switch in storage. I can't remember if I did this on camera or off camera, but I fished an empty can. And uh, let's also put the shirt, the denim pants. Um, so let's get the clay and let's put this in storage as well. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and move this. Actually, hold up. All right. Let's pick this up first. Okay, let's go ahead and set this up like this. Let's put the lantern here. And then let's grab that and let's set it up over here. Wooden full length mirror. Yes. Oh, wait. Um, so let's put the wooden block chest here and let's try to put it in the very corner if we can. Okay, cool. All right. And the radio. We'll just move this over to the side. And also, uh, one thing that you may have seen in my inventory is I got cherries. I actually visited one of my friends, uh, Blue Betel, or Blue as his name is on on here, Lily Crown. Let's go ahead and learn this. Um, I visited one of my friends and I actually, he grows cherries on his island, so I was able to acquire some of those. He also has coconuts, but he's still building those, so I won't be able to get those yet. And then... I think he also has apples, he said, but those are still growing as well. So these are growing. It's still going to take some time, but they're growing. Oh, and the only fruit he didn't have was, uh, what is it called? Uh, peaches. So luckily, my island's native fruit is peaches. And Okay, so there's Agnes. We're going to go ahead and talk to her in a bit. So let's talk to Blathers, see if we could give him the... Yeah, if he needs the bass. 
Ah, uh, so... Okay, so I need to acquire others. So let's try to find a moth. Because... I think he accepts... So, how's it going, Agnes? Hey there, Night Flyer. How goes Snuffle? What's the latest? You out for an evening stroll? Yeah. Okay, now where's Sprocket? He seems to spend most of his time in this area. Oh, let's pick up this stone. Let's also go ahead and use this instead. Oh, I also need a new fishing rod. Mm. So yeah, I need a new fishing rod. And I think, yeah, I, I also got some Nook Miles when I was over at Diego's place, or Blue's place. Um, Dream House. So for leveling up my house, nice. Anything else? I Island and your land. Support your neighboring islands with a visit now and again. The more you visit, the more Nook Miles you can earn. So I gotta go visit five times. Oh wait. Okay, I need to make a fishing rod. Let's also make sure we're holding our flimsy net just in case. Should I craft something? Yep. Okay, so we got the shovel. So we need materials. Let's go get the wood from inside of our house. So let's see. The storage. What is it? I think it's... Yeah. So let's get the hardwood. Let's get the softwood. We never know. We might need some regular wood. So... I saw that I could sell the gold for 8,000 bells, I think, but Diego was telling me to save it because in the future there are golden tools or gold tools, so I should try to save as much as possible. That way I could just uh, get the golden tools in the future. And I, so since I already have one piece of gold, that's... Uh, it's pretty good compared to just not having anything. Okay. Then I mean, I can always get, like, bells from other things, so... It's not that big of a deal. Okay, cool. Do we have any other recipes? Leaf umbrella. So we need weeds let's go ahead and open up our nook miles let's see all right um hit rocks so hitting five rocks or hit a rock five times Cool. So now we just need one more, and I think the final thing is just the umbrella. So also, oh. Nice. Oh, let's go ahead and fish real quick. Come on. Come on. And this is it, I assume, this next one. And got it. Anything new? What is this? A dab. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's a bug. Oh. oh. Wait, what was that? A hermit crab, right? I think that's what they're called. Oh. So I learned we can sneak up on bugs by holding a and then you let go so i got a snail 
Yes, I caught a snail. But I can't carry anything else. Yeah, I need to swap it with something. I need to turn this in. Okay, we'll put the stone down. We'll come pick that up later. Alright, so I'm going to have to carry my fishing rod. Or my net, sorry. I mean, I already got a snail, so it's not that big of a deal. I know there's moths, though. So that could be pretty cool. I'm trying to uh, get some moths. Uh, please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. Yeah, let's go ahead and donate the snail and then okay, so we have not caught a dab before. The repug the repugnance. Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Ahem, I beg your pardon, bugs. I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist that is. Yeah, please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Snails are not insects, I'll admit, but they're just as revolting to me. Snails are mollusks, you see, and are born wearing shells they cannot remove. Instead, their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. Who? I suppose that's why they need a trail of mucus about. Or I didn't see the previous sentence. Okay, cool. Yep. Marvelous. The dab. And then we're gonna go sell some stuff at the uh, like the main building in the plaza. Sure, let's learn about a dab. I would love nothing more. The dab is a flatfish that bears some resemblance to the olive flounder, though their mouths are different. Personally, I am morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. The dab's eyes are both on its right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides and in the sand, so the odd eye placement makes some sense. But it's how can I put this creepy, viscerally disturbing, profoundly upsetting to fans of symmetry? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. 13 more donations. Alright. So we gotta get 13 other bugs or fish. Um... Or fossils also, I think. That was one of them. I'm assuming we... Like... I asked Diego about this. And he told me that these little things are fossils? Or... No. Okay. I got bells. Even better. Alright. We'll go ahead and get that in a bit. Let's just see if this is a new type of fish that we have not caught before. Oh, dang it! Okay, let's go ahead and swap out the flimsy net. Can we get any moths? Okay, cool. We got the hermit crab. Nice. Wait a minute, what is that? Okay. There was something there though. Let's get the flimsy fishing rod. Yeah, what is that? Like it keeps like, yeah. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's some, just some, I feel like I need to dig it up. Come on. All right. Anything new, please? Uh, it's another dab. Mm, 
Now let's just let it go. So, okay. Let's try to see if we can dig this or not. Dang it, that's not what I meant to do. No, stop. <sighs> okay. Well. Wait, now that we have a shovel, we can plant stuff. Let's go ahead and plant some trees then. Let's dig. Plant one. And then let's also go ahead and plant some oranges. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Oranges, plant one. Then I guess we gotta water them as well. So let's go ahead. I, I missed that. I, I missed the tree. Wait a minute. Um, I don't think something's right. Is that it? I'm going to assume that's, <laughs> that's me watering them or not or something. Okay. I don't know where Sprocket is. Sorry. We, we just, we have to get all the fish because we got to catch like, 13 new species or whatever. Ah, oh, dang it. Nope. That is way too far. Come on. Please. Next one. Please, something new. It's, god dang it, it's just another dab. Nah, no, just let it go. Okay. I mean, we already have a hermit crab. That's fine. Let's go ahead and sell some things. Also... How am I doing, like, in terms of my loan money? Oh, wait, what? So, you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies or customers, homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm. This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Rojo Inc. Are you happy with your new home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents. Hmm. You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there is no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to their new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bill. Wait, what's going on? Stop. Can I pin miles? Uh... But don't worry, you can pay in installments, big or small. Okay. I think I just want to rack them all up before. Wait, I do hope. Nook Miles ticket. Special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum. Hmm. We want to improve our island, but still hold on to that deserted island ma magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes, go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. 
Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then go enjoy life in your freshly built home indeed. Okay. Timmy, hello there, Rojo Inc. Congratulations on your new home. I have something I would like to chat about if you have a moment that is a proposal. Sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, after all, our little island community is growing and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I am a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we ha have the need. Now, here's the thing, building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks. Our environmental review even suggests that there will be a zero impact to native flora or fauna. Ah, but I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of the items I'd like for you to gather. Only 30 pieces of regular... Oh. Um... Let's see what's for sale first. So... Each okay, so I want to sell. That's what I came here to do. So I want to sell. Are you offering? Um, well, I want to sell the hermit crab, the black bass, all of these shells. Yeah, I think that's it for now. And done. I can buy these. Alright, that's good. Alright. So, let's go ahead and redeem all of our Nook Miles. Oh, speaking of which, I did want to check something inside of the Nook Stop. But first, let's see. What is this? Fruit Roots. Uh... You'll grow some of the miles. Cool. And I got... Okay, so all the fruit. Uh, Peeps is on, playing Animal Crossing. Okay, cool. Oh, also these bells. How do I... Put away. There we go. So, like I said, I want to check out the Nook Stop. But also, another thing that I do want to do is, uh, hold up, let's see. Three day accessing the Nook Stop will reward you. All right, so three days in a row, 100 bonus miles. Uh, I want to redeem Nook Miles. So, okay, I guess that's another Nook Miles ticket, but this is what I wanted to get. I don't know if, I don't know if, uh, what's it called? Also, is there anything here that's pretty cool? Mm. So this, I want to get the... I don't know if, I mean, yeah, let's redeem it because I don't think we could use, what was that sound? Hmm. Okay. All right. So we got the recipes, but what material is this? Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. Should I craft something? Yes. Let's see. What kind of tools can I make? Stone axe. 
axe. Oh. So this is cool. So these use iron. Nice. And then an iron watering can. Nice. Okay. So let's get started on gathering a few of the materials for um, Timmy. Their new shop. Um, oh, wait, spider. Oh, I got it. A tarantula. <laughs> I, I, I freaked out a bit. I thought that was, uh, hold up. Let's go ahead and catch this fish. Come on. You interested? Yeah, you are. Come on. Nice. What is this? Something new? And now, so something I did learn is, um, well, actually, I don't know if I've given Tom Nook a dace before or a uh, yeah, because Tom gave it to, gave the stuff to Blathers, so, fossils. Also, let's see, I think I remember seeing something, yeah, this, now that we have the vaulting pole, let's get over here, see this, I'm pretty sure I could use the shovel on this. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. A deck of buff. Oh, okay, so these are the fossils. So, wait, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Hmm. Let's see my inventory space. So I don't have that much. Can I stack giant clams? No, I can't. Well, I guess no. Whatever. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Faulting pole. This is it. Let's see. Um. Anything? Okay, so. Let's see. What was I gonna do? Okay, yeah. I need to give the tarantula... And I heard that tarantulas, I think they sell for a good amount of money. I'm not too sure though. I was watching a video where somebody was uh, gathering like tarantulas or stuff. Or well, they were just catching bugs, but yeah. So let me give you this fossil. So we'll need 10 more things. A fossil? What kind of fossil? Remarkable, my intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island, but I digress. It is a... Hoo-hoo. After some consideration, declare Triceratail. Triceratops? Okay. Sure. Okay. I mean, something I heard was you actually need to make the residents happy. They have like a, I mean, they could be happy or sad and then that actually plays into the game. I'm not sure if this is true. I'll probably do some research on it, but that's something I did here. So I'll try to make sure that I make them happy by listening to what they have to say and stuff like that. Can appraise a newly discovered fossil. 
Do you please bring me any fossil of unknown origins? Yeah, so let's see if this, what was it, a daze? Undoubtedly a daze. Okay, cool. So yeah, tell me the facts. Shiny little fish that enjoy freshwater streams. Okay. What a fishy paradise. To learn larger fish moves in. Shiny days are easy for other fish to spot, which makes them a popular snack. No need to worry, there's a strict no eating your neighbor policy at this institution. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the tarantula. It's not a. Well, bugs? Yeah, I guess. It's not an insect, but it's a uh, arachnid. Of course, let's learn about this spider. Ahem. As giant spiders go, the tarantula is said to be quite docile. But have you ever seen such foul fuzziness? It is a fact tarantulas have barbed belly hair. Barbed belly hair. Ugh, I'm scared of spiders. These awful arachnids let loose their spiky itchy hairs to protect themselves from predators. But seeing how tarantulas also prey on frogs, mice, and even birds, one must ask, who needs protecting from whom? <laughs> My sincerest thanks for your donation. Okay. Ten donations. Okay. I did see, I think, that I got some nook miles. So let me go ahead and redeem those real quick. So, let's see. Here you go. And your first fossil, okay. Anything else? So one thing I did get was this, faint of heart. Because I did find a tarantula earlier. I, I think I came on last night and I actually got attacked by the tarantula. There's a, so it says we still have something. Pay dirt. Bells here. Oh, okay, so by getting the the bells out of the ground. Okay, so is that it? Let's open this up. Let's see. Hermit crab. Tarantula is one of the last ones. It's pretty cool. So DIY recipes. Also, I got this app, the best friends list. Um, when I went to go visit Diego and I found that. So. Let's see. So we do need to get some materials. So let's get our flimsy axe. And just. Wait, did I turn in the centipede? I'm not sure if I turned in a, a centipede or not. Wait a minute. It's gone. Ah, okay. So let's take out our flimsy axe again. Nope. Nope. Wait, is that it? We can't get any more? Because, yeah, I'm assuming that's it. So let's get some wood. We're going to have to keep track of this. Make sure we're not going overboard or anything, getting too much. So, let's see. The most we have is just regular wood, and that makes sense. I'm assuming softwood and... Hardwood are more difficult to acquire. So let's see. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get the like the iron axe, or or I guess it's just called axe. Let's see. Nook miles plus. So getting wood, I guess. Um. And what is the new one? 
sell clumps of weed, so selling 20 weeds. Yeah. I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Ha, knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for Symphony. Oh, I got an idea. If you've got, if you got your other thing, you might want this. What is this? What is this? Oh, she gave me a stone axe. Nice. So I guess I don't need to make an axe. Cool. But seriously, where is Sprocket? I, I guess he's just asleep. Is this Sprocket's house? Or tent, I guess. Hey, what's up? Uh, let's just chat real quick. What'd you give me? Oh, okay, cool. How many nuggets? What, did you give me four or something? I think, did I only, oh no, I think I had like two, so he gave me five. I think that's how much I had. All right, but thank you. Let's go ahead and collect all this wood. Um, two, three, and this one. The difficult part is going to be collecting collecting the uh, iron nuggets because those are pretty rare in comparison to like stones <gasps> no no Oh jeez. Can I swap to my No. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not dead. Oh wait, can I catch bees though? I got honeycomb or no a wasp nest or so they're wasps they're not bees all right so I gotta be careful in case I get another one swap immediately to uh, my flimsy net I, want to, I, I think I could catch them. I mean, they're, wasps are considered bugs, right? So I should be able to catch them. Let's see. How are we doing? Okay. So we still have quite a way to go. I'm just on the lookout to make sure I don't collect like a... What's it called? So... I saw some people were digging up like nine things from stones. Come on. Wait, oh wait. If oh you they could touch it more than three times. Oh, dang it. I thought three was the max. Come 
come on. Oh, okay. So they could do more. Let's see. Is this new? I think it's new. Horse. Oh, th this was um. This was uh part of the Nook Miles, wasn't it? To catch. Wait, didn't I? I thought I had one that was like catch a horse mackerel. Oh, and also something I was gonna say was. I heard that when your character says yes, when you catch something, it means you caught something new. So that's good to know because I know we haven't caught a horse mackerel before. So let's go ahead and turn this into blathers. Of course, make a donation. And let's see the horse mackerel. Mm, horse mackerel. Now my interest you in a few fascinating facts. Yes, please tell me. I will love nothing more. Supposedly the horse mackerel derives its name from a false myth about its strength as a swimmer. The gist of it is that these fish are so powerful underwater that smaller fish can ride them as steeds. It's absurd, of course. What would, where would these allegedly fish jockeys attach a saddle, much less horseshoes? One does wish that people would construct the legends with a bit more scientific plausibility. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. No, bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Nine more. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to collect all nine right now. But there was something that I wanted to talk about before I end the video. Which is... Uh, considering how little progress we're doing like in comparison to how much we could be doing if oh wait i thought i <laughs> oh man i thought i got it okay but what i was going to say is considering how much uh i guess how little progress we make uh, I'm gonna try to do as much off camera, but when it comes to like these big things like uh, like building the shop and that, I won't turn in the materials until I'm recording. So big advancements like that, or like paying off my loans, are uh, pretty big, like landmarks you could say in this in this game. So I'm gonna wait until I'm recording to do those kinds of things. So let, let's just catch this really big fish. Okay. What is it? We already caught this. Alright. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this up by going back into the main little tent in the... What is it? I guess in the island. And uh, turn this in. So... I want to sell real quick so let's go ahead sell the wasp nest the dace sea snail giant clam I guess we need to sell weeds mm, yeah done okay 1640 sold so this is like recycled materials and I guess there's just a cardboard box so that's not very important. Wait, last thing I forgot. Uh, the reason the other reason why I was going in here was to go to the next stop. I want to check out if there's anything of uh importance. And also one thing that you're going to be seeing is uh in my videos there's no longer going to be the uh Let's see this. Mm. Sonata. That's really cool, actually. Is this like a song? I think that's really cool, but I'm not going to get that. Um, 
so, so one thing you're going to notice is uh, there's going to be no like outro at the end of my videos. What is this? I don't know, but there's not going to be an outro like the the video layout that I put in my videos because um, when I I don't think I could put like recommend a video of my own at the in the outro so I don't see a point in putting like the little outro layout if I can't do that but yeah that's basically it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see some more Animal Crossing or videos in general but for the most part right now it's gonna be Animal Crossing and trumpet covers by the way speaking of trumpet covers I really hope you guys enjoyed the cover of uh, uh, you raise me up I think that that's a very important uh, message to address right now which is all of that of well the issue that's going on I uh, talked about it in the video but I don't want to say the name because apparently we get flagged for that kind of stuff um, but yeah I I really wanted to address that uh, it's just stay safe uh, let's enforce the let's practice all of the social distancing that's being recommended right now uh, let's just make sure that we follow all those and uh, yeah that's basically it for this video like I said if you guys did enjoy it please make sure to leave a like comment and as always please make sure to become a color by subscribing and hit that notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload a video until next time I'm Rojo Inc and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.